now to answer or to help the ac companies management to decide upon the dividend proportion here there is a uh, calculations the numerical part through which the company there may company may get a help to decide upon its dividend decision right the prices the walters model have a formula through which we will be able to calculate the price and will be able to see the impact of dividend decision on the price of the firm that is p is equals to d plus r upon k o multiplied by e minus z upon on ko now d is the dividend per share dividend declared per share r is here this is going to be assumed yes the proportion will be assumed and will be calculated r is the required rate of return the rate of return of investment or internal rate of return right now what is this r r is nothing but when the company is retaining um retaining the profits those retained profits are going to be reinvested for further expansion and the rate of return from that invest meant the investor is expecting that is known as r means a rate of return from the investment the from the retained amount the rate of return that is known as r right ko is the cost of capital now cost of capital means what for example if i'm borrowing a loan from a bank at 8% interest right that 8% is known as cost of capital correct now here the firm has debt plus equity which means a weighted average might have been taken out it weighted average is taken out from debt cost and the equity cost right similarly as 8% is my cost of debt similarly there is cost of equity also and this cost is multiplied by its proportion and what you get is that is known as weighted average cost of capital that is known as ku that is cost of the capital structure correct right? now next comes is e e means earning per share correct right? earning per share as i told you in my previous slides also in my previous conversation also earning per share is calculated by dividing the net earnings by number of equity shares correct right? which means earning the total the amount or the earnings available for each share is known as earning per share this is d which is reputation that is dividend per share correct right? i'll move ahead with the different proportion of dividend declaration for the company is yes, here from our about data we don't have all ready data available to us we will have to calculate few of them correct right? the only ready available data to us is earning per share which is 8.1 earning per share is 8.1 correct right? that is readily available Level from our above data, from the table here we have earning per share available. So this is the only thing that is readily available to you. Correct. So earning per share is eight point one. Moving ahead to the KO. Even KO is not readily available. KO is the cost of capital. Here we do not have cost of debt and cost of equity. Right. The only option, the only available option to calculate. cost of capital see there is an inverse relationship between pe and cost of capital correct okay? if cost is high the earnings will be less but obvious if cost is low earnings will be higher right if earnings are higher investor is ready to pay more as share price for each earning that is pe ratio right so we have pe ratio that is high correct which is good so definitely the cost of capital might be less so there is an inverse relationship between cost of capital and pe ratio correct okay? ko is equals to 1 upon pe so we can the here the answer that i got this of the cost of capital that is 3.125% so my cost of capital is 3.125% correct i'll move ahead see d i need to calculate correct r i need to calculate ko i have calculated that is 3.125 e that is earning per share i need to calculate right 
ko also ko i have calculated that is 3.125 so for the the things that is remaining i'll be calculating in my further slides that is first is rate of return on investment that is r or internal rate of return right i can calculate r or internal rate of return by dividing net profits by equity capital and multiplying this whole by multiplying this whole proportion by 100 right net profits i have and i can i took this net profit from the table here i have net profits that is 5.9 crore so i took my 5.9 crore which is ready available to me correct and i have divided that by equity capital i don't have equity capital how i calculated my equity capital is your i could take this take up this equity capital with the help of earning per share right the formula for earning per share is net profit upon number of equity shares earning per share is available that is 8.1 net profit is 5.9 crore correct and number so with the help of these two data i can calculate number of equity shares right so number of equity shares is 72,83,905.6 correct so i have assumed so with the help of this equity share i can calculate the equity capital right with the help of which i'll be able to calculate my r so here is my equity capital formula equity capital is equals to number of equity shares into face value right any company issues shares at the face value of rupees 100 any company issues the shares at 100 rupees face value so i have taken up 100 as face value and i multiplied by the number of equity shares that i calculated from earning per share right so i multiplied 100 into right by 72 lakh i got my equity capital correct here with the help of my this equity capital i'll be able to calculate my r the formula for r is net profits upon equity capital multiplied the whole has to be multiplied by 100 so your file five uh, so your my r or internal rate of return that i got from my calculation is 8.1 percentage which means your my ko is 3.125 and my r is 8.1 person that means my r is greater than ko so this means that i the company can go for more retention policy